okay guys this is what we'll be creating so when you scan a QR code you can see you scan it you automatically get the results of the QR code scan so let's dive into it okay guys let's dive into it so we'll open our visual studio code then we'll, then we'll can see this this folder this is currently empty so we'll open an empty folder an empty project so to see so i just create an index.html so over here i'll do the usual shortcuts just let's just call this scanning app okay now if you go over to this i have a direct link where you can copy the qr scanner javascript and um, paste but before i do that let me show you where the library is this is where the all the implementation was done the html5 carry code scan if you go down you see a brief documentation of how it's been done and the kind of carry code it supports you can see that it supports almost all carry codes you can see different kind of carry code it's been supported so i've extracted the file already and I pasted it on my gist as qroscanner.js or the minified version. So you can just click on it. And so this is more, it will be very easier. You can click on it, just click on raw. Then control A, control C, copy everything. Then you go to your project. Then you create a file. Let's call this qroscript.js. Then I will paste it over here. Then in your HTML, you just create a script and source it. SROC dot slash is over here. So that's that. Then to proceed, just create our div that hold everything. Let's just give it a style. Let's say test align. Let's just align it to the center. Okay, so here we'll create a div that will hold the camera. So for this one, Let's just give it an ID. Let's call this reader. Then we'll give it a style. We'll say the width should be 500 pixels. Remember, this is what is within our camera. Okay. They yes, this. So let's just make it a little bit big. Then let's create another div that will show the results. Let's give it an ID. Let's call this show. Then when we're done with that, then let's just give it a style. Let's say display. Let's just call this to be none first. Let's dynamically display it when we've gotten our result. So let's just call this H4. Let's just call this say, what? Let's say scan result. Okay. Then let's call this P. Let's give it an ID. I'm saying OD. <laughs> results so this we we have the result to be displayed so that's that let's move forward let's just create our script to write the implementation so let's create an object of this our of our caro code which will be the library which we'll be using let's call this html 5 qr code equals to new html l5 qr code okay let's just make this capital letter because an object then it's going to pass in this reader because this reader is let me take this down this reader div is what is going to hold our is what is going to hold our camera and our image is that so it's going to let's pass it is that's where to be reading it from okay then let's create our callback method let's call this qr code sources callback name is kind of very long but it's okay as long as we know what it's doing so it's, it's a it's a method so let's just make arrow function it's going to pass into parameter the decoded test and the decoded results let's say decoded tests decoded results okay so if let's read the conditional statement if the coded test does if it has successfully scanned our image and gotten the 
content stars if it's there then let's say document dot get element by id which is this show dot style dot display equals to block so it, if it successfully being able to scan then what let's not display this other div and show the result also let's also say documents dot element by id dot result dot test content equals to the decoded test over here so now we are now showing the decoded test so now also let's stop scanning now that we've gotten our data our value will stop scanning so to stop we just say html5 carry code dot stop that's all we have stopped it so let's create our configuration we are not done yet const config config equals to some objects we'll say fps these are more reserved terms so we just have to do it this way qr boss the QR bus is that four corner that focuses our image. Okay, so the QR bus is going to take in a width and height. We'll say width table ID th um, is well spread 250. Okay, height h e i g t h. Most time I do say h e i g h t. I think it's h t. <laughs> I g yeah, it's h t. Let's make it 250. Okay. Now we'll say HTML QR code. Now we'll say this dot start. Let's start it. Okay. Now if we're starting it, we're not just starting like that. We're going to pass in parameter. But you can just say start and pass in your callback. But for now, let's me say facing mode. Let me see environments. What this does is it automatically uses our back camera or our rear camera when we start it instead of you know we are scanning we don't want to it to either use our front camera so if we want to us know if we want not to confuse we take this out it will not automatically pick our back camera so that's what we are saying the facing mode should be environment so if you're using it on the website it automatically pictures the best camera to use okay that's that then we're passing our config which is this one that we configured here we are saying that the carry boss should be 250 we are passing it down then we are passing our callback success callback at the end so we are literally done so that's that so let me run it on my machine to see if it works fine yes let me see yes it works fine so that's that so now let me deploy it over here i um, just want to be able to run it on my phone that's why i'm deploying it here if not i will just do it like that so so you guys can see so let's just do this quickly um give you some seconds so yeah particular done so let me put on my visor and break a QR code. So what we'll do? Um, so so what I will do? Let me start it up. I don't know if it's connected. Start device. I don't think it's connected. Let me connect it back. Um. Okay. So. Hmm. Oh, I think that's not it. Um, device. Okay. Device. So. Okay, one second. Okay, disconnected. So let me just go to where's my Chrome ABC. 
to search this again okay so this screw so let me pull it up and paste the URL that I just pasted okay so let me try to scan and see mm, it's taking a bit of time okay yeah power so it is up you can see it's been scanned and the value is up um so that's that although i didn't i forgot to add the color so if you want to add make it blue you can just come over here and say style color to be blue the hdmi the scan code is going to be blue so let me just quickly the deploy again and test it out um okay add file this again okay just quickly make this fast mission good what what's going on okay i think i'm having a top problem Get fire this back. Just quickly make this public. Yep. Okay, it's successful. So let me go back to my visor. Let me refresh this again. And let's try to scan again. Okay. Just quickly. We can see the color is blue so that's it thanks for watching so see you in the next video